Wildcats often take interesting paths after they're finished playing at Rupp Arena. But Locke puts it back in. It's been 30 years since Rob Locke wore the Kentucky blue and white. So much has changed here in the last 30 years. I mean, I haven't been here for, for, for many, many years, and so I find myself driving around in Lexington and getting lost. He played a little after college, but basketball wasn't going to be a long term career for him. And basketball. But it always ends at some point for everybody, and it did for me at 30. Instead, he pursued another passion. But I wanted to be a commercial pilot. Being 6'10, that was always out of the question. So I wanted to fly, and I had to figure out how I could make that happen. He didn't have to look far. This airplane that I have behind me, our Boeing Stearman, uh, my father actually bought that when I was six years old. Now it's Rob's. Since 2000, he's run Waldo Wright's flying service, giving open cockpit rides. Sound good? How do you feel right now? Rob's based in Florida, but this week he's at the Aviation Museum of Kentucky at Bluegrass Airport. Peter Young was one of his first customers today. Once they're up in the air, Rob lets the passenger become the pilot. For a half hour or so, Rob shares that passion with people who may never have been in the cockpit. Break that nose up a little tiny bit. There you go. While he spends some time back here in Lexington, Rob hopes to inspire some future pilots. If somebody flies with me, and we had a lot of people that have flown with me over the years, and they've gone on to get their pilot's license, I think that helps everybody. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT.